aspects of dress and design are shrouded in secrecy. But what about the men? Here's David Sillito. The royal wedding invitation. And at the bottom, a dress code. Ah, a choice. A source in Downing Street suggested earlier in the week that the Prime Minister was plumping for a lounge suit. However, today... I apologise for not wearing a tie, but it's quite hot. But don't worry, I will be properly dressed at the royal wedding next Friday. A cheer for a morning suit? The traditionalists were happy. The morning suit discomfort was being felt all round. A spokesman for Ed Miliband conceded, yes, it looks as if it's going the way of tails. The traditionalists are more than happy, especially here in Savile Row, which has been rather busy this week. So you say absolutely no question at all? Yes, a gentleman should wear a morning suit. For the, our, our leaders in the political sense, they should set an example. And I'm sure they're going to do so. Doesn't it make you look a toff? If it does, I'm very happy to be a toff. And here it is. The full regalia, top hat, tails, the morning suit. It absolutely screams class. And that's exactly the problem with it. Clothes matter. Michael Foote's coach provoked scorn. William Haig's hat, ridicule. And while David Cameron has been seen in a white tie, a well-known photo of him in his Bullingdon Club regalia is no longer in circulation. Prime ministers always want to seem to be modern and of the time. So that's why particularly David Cameron is so reluctant to be seen in tails. Meanwhile, back at Dij and Skinner's, they confirmed, yes, there has been a late flurry of requests for morning suits. However, bespoke for next Friday? Sorry, it'll have to be off the peg now. David Zoletto, BBC News. And, uh, and remember, for much more coverage of the build-up to the Royal Wedding on our website, uh, there you'll find a look at the coat of arms created for Kate Middleton ahead of the ceremony and an interactive tour of the wedding route. It's all there on the BBC website. This is BBC News.